Hello and welcome to another one of our videos where today I'm looking at one of the simplest exercises we've, we've known, which is the clamshell exercise for the glutes. So um, let's get into it and have a look at the common mistakes that we see with this and a couple of tips you can use. So um, firstly, I've got like a band that you can you, you need to place around your legs. I find without the band, you really don't get a lot out of it unless you were extremely weak. Um, but most people would need to have a band. The type of band you use can vary on how strong you are. Um, so, you know, they'll come in different various levels of resistance. Um, but first, the first few things I'm going to show you here is um, a lot of people make the mistake of moving around too much through their lower back when they do it. So one of the clever ways that I was shown recently on how to do this is to use your arm to push down into the floor. So you're really pushing hard into the floor which basically creates a lockdown effect from the lats into the lumbar spine so it doesn't move around. So you stop your, your lower back from moving around. I, I found that was a real clever uh, tip that you could use to help you um, to, to prevent that from happening. Because if that happens, then the exercise becomes detrimental to you. So, um, so from side on, you, I'm going to show you here also like the positioning of the lower back. So I'm going to show you here what it looks like when it's a poor position. So see how I've just moved into where I've sort of got like a posterior tilt. This is another thing that we see very commonly done um, and a lot of people are not aware of it. So if, if you don't have the right positioning of the pelvis, then you're really not going to recruit the glutes in the correct way. Um, even though this is a very regressed exercise, it can sort of create a few, fair bit of trouble through the hips for some people not because there's something wrong with the exercise, but just because it's done poorly. All right, so you can sort of see here I'm continuing to do it in this poor position. I'm not moving around because I've still got my arm pushed down. Now I move more into a neutral position. So you could see that if I just take that back. So I have sort of move out of this and then move into more neutral. All right, so if I was lying against the wall, I would be dead flat with a little bit of a gap through there which would indicate my neutral lumbar curve of my lower back. Once I'm in the neutral curve, I'll be able to hit the glute medius and a lot more effectively for this exercise and not recruit other things and turn it into an, a terrible exercise. And again, this arm pushing down stops people moving backwards and forwards through their lower back, which really creates a lot of problems um, that they are not aware of. Right? So even though it's a simple exercise, it can, like anything, be done poorly. So... These are a couple of simple tips you can use to get more out of the exercise. Um, all right, so I hope you've enjoyed that, and we'll see you on our next one.